Hello friends. Welcome to Story Hour Online. Thanks for joining me outside today. It's going to be a little warm today. So go inside when it gets a little warm and make sure you drink lots of fluids. So have you ever been to an aquarium? Did you see a clownfish there that looks like Nemo? How about a puffer fish? They blow up when they get all excited. So today's book. We're going to read How to Hug a Puffer Fish. Story and Pictures by Ellie Pearson. So you want to hug a puffer fish. Who could blame you? Those big old bubble eyes. That gap tooth grin. The spotty skin like moldy bread with mustard. Could anything be cuter? There are so many reasons to give puffer fish a hug. It could be that puffer fish has just come back from a long trip. From the kelp forest. Maybe puffer fish just won an award and you want to say Congratulations! Or maybe puffer fish is your very best friend and you really want to show you care. There's only one teeny tiny thing to consider. got spikes coming out of him. Never fear, fear. Puffer fish might welcome a hug from you under the right conditions. First, puffer fish doesn't like surprises. Oh, he surprised him. Loud sounds can startle puffer fish. Don't tickle or poke puffer fish in place of a hug. And if things go badly, give puffer fish some time to depuff before trying again. Even if you love hugs, puffer fish might prefer something different. Puffer fish would like to see you coming. Puffer fish would like to be asked for a hug first. May I give you a hug? Check one. Yes? No. Puffer fish would like your hug to be slow and gentle. Pufferfish might even prefer a high tail or fin shake instead.
and you never know pufferfish might show you a different way to say I love you Now, if you want to hug a sea urchin, that's a whole nother story. Because he's got little pointy things coming out of him at all times. A little bit harder. Kind of like wanting to pet a porcupine. The end. So now we know how to hug a puffer fish. We can't scare them or tickle them. So for today's craft friends, we're going to go to Simple Mom Project. Thank you, Simple Mom Project, for the template for today. And there's two templates. There's a blank one that you could color in and you could make him or her yellow like our book or the colored one is brown so we're going to cut it out, all the pieces out and it's going to be a cut and paste craft and maybe we can all get to the um, aquarium sometime soon thanks for joining me today friends and I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll see you next time. Bye.